What's going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel. Today, I have something a little bit different for you. I know this is in Minecraft, but I'm going to try something new. This is Magic the Gathering content. If you don't like it, just move on. I'll have some Minecraft for you tomorrow, okay? Don't worry about it. Don't unsubscribe. For those of you who are interested, we are doing a Liliana Planeswalker slash creature slash uh, enchantment tier list. Just cards that feature liliana vest in it and i believe this is ordered from uh from oldest to newest as well so yeah it's not gonna be a it's not gonna be a competitive ranking it's not gonna be just judging by how good the card is it's gonna be more you know how, how flavorful how how cool it is how attractive she is and also it might involve some of the abilities as well you may see all right so the tiers we have is garbage fire that's the worst one and then we have freaky and then we have uh, Wood Dew as the middle, uh, middle category. Wood Dew as in, um, you know, this card Wood Dew, not, not meaning anything else. And then we have Banger. Banger, of course, meaning this card's banging. This card's a banger of a card. Nothing, nothing um, non-PG there. We're a family-friendly channel here. All right. And finally, you have Goddess tier on top there reserved for the best of the best lilies all right let's get going here our first entry to the list to the tier list is liliana vest this is um the origin of liliana the very first card that she was introduced in the game back in lauren a long while ago um i think this is great i think this is a great representation of the character i feel like they really went full circle with this in war of the spark and also you know i like it it's like it's like teen angst it's like i hate my parents liliana and of course the effect's classic as well it's a uh it's a rise of the dark realms a stick i guess and by the way i know rise of the dark realms is in this tier list but if it was it would be absolutely goddess tier i mean just look at that come on now. i know you are turned on as well let's move on so yeah i think this, this is a great starting point for lily and i think it's a benchmark of the character so gotta go banger for this one pretty great all right for the next one we just have an alt art of the uh, original one i don't really care for this it's like a sassy almost latino liliana so i'm just gonna go with freaky there uh, it's all right but what i'm more interested about is the next one liliana of the dark realms now <laughs> this is so funny to me you know how i said this one was like teenage liliana teen angst you know and, and then the next one, the next one they did in M14, this Liliana the Dark Realms. This is full on like, it's full on MILF Demon Queen Liliana. Um, yeah, she's got, she's got the long hair and everything, like big hair, big, thick, you know, hair is what I'm talking about. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna put it here in the middle character category. I don't know, I feel weird about this one. It, it's, it doesn't feel like Liliana to me but yeah I, I, I guess it's a different take and I'm glad they shied away from this kind of theme again and next we have Liliana of the Veil this feels like in the middle of everything it's like the classic uh, after the classic it's like when you think of Liliana when you think of Lily it's this card it's no other card it's no other card you know it's a good card but it doesn't even matter because this art this art man oh my god not only is it iconic it, it, it makes you feel stuff that the cardboard should make you feel uh, i pulled this card i think back in 2019 of uh, ultimate masters and i freaked out it's pretty good pretty good card and uh I mean, I would be doing it in injustice if I did put it in goddess tier. Absolute banger of a card. Woo! That that design, that uh, fashion choice, very good. I think this became the definite Liliana. This became the benchmark Liliana. After that point, every kind of design just kind of went off this. It's got kind of a kind of an American style face art and uh. Yeah, I really like it. Kind of a pajama, pajama dress. Kind of glitter with metal and golden balls. Kind of clothing. I don't know how to describe it. I like it. 
you see him spicy you see him so scary you don't want to go near but but you also do at the same time you know you don't know what to do all right and the next one is pretty interesting you know how i said this one was the origins this one is actually the real origins of liliana back when she was and she i believe her family member was sick and she was trying to heal them but then it turns out she turned them into a zombie instead or something and then that's what ignited her spark you know it's a weird story but uh you know what i'm here for it and it's a different take i'm here for it so i, I i'm gonna give it a banger i'm gonna give it a banger and then on the flip side of that ooh, they, all of these are different you know it's all it's almost like they're different women i guess it's because they're different artists or whatever but still still I, I, like all of these artists do different takes on liliana and they're all pretty unique in their own style this is almost a this is almost a different kind of teen. It's like a, you know, it's one of those ones where all the guys are like reaching up and trying to get to you and she's just like slapping them away, just shooing them away. And, uh, you know, it's interesting how her body type, <laughs> I don't know why I'm saying this, <laughs> but it's interesting how her body type has changed through the versions as well. This one is almost like got a bit of shub. I don't know if it's okay to say that or not but i'm gonna put it here i'm gonna put it right here in the in the right in the middle here i don't know how i really feel about it so i'm gonna put it here the next one isn't even a uh, a creature or a planeswalker but it's a legendary enchantment it's oath of liliana i don't know why this is in here but i'm gonna rate it anyway this is oath of liliana um it's an enchantment that does something you know who cares from oath of the gate watching you know what i i really like this art it, it's almost like a, a a skinnier type like last one was like like medium build right this this one is like super skinny and uh yeah she's pretty cute in this one i like this one I'll give it a banger liliana the last hope hmm this is an interesting one a very good card probably the best card one of the best cards in eldritch moon pretty expensive at that as well uh for the art and flavor though i i don't know i feel like this one's kind of kind of not that great so and also like it's pretty white too and seems like she's got a lot of guys around her so i don't think i want to go near that so i'm gonna <laughs> put it right here next up is uh this liliana from monquette um it's just from the planeswalker decks and planeswalker decks are terrible so there you go garbage fire i shouldn't say that my first product was a planeswalker deck but but they should just give you the planeswalker they shouldn't give you this it's like b-tech version this bollywood version of liliana now the better one in a monquette is this one liliana's death majesty Whoo! this one this one gets this one gets me this one gets the the whole the whole emotion behind the whole character behind Liliana as this you know dominant figure with uh with zombies and the undead serving her and she's she's really like in a commanding position here like uh, the, the zombies are serving her grapes and she's just sitting there showing watching them do build the pyramid or something I don't know <laughs> you know I like this and she's kind of the the hero to the story as well at the end which i won't spoil the end if you don't know it already so yeah i really like this one it's gonna go in the the tippity top banger i'd say okay let's go next up we have uh i believe this is m19 liliana don't really feel much about this one it's kind of another basic one um i wouldn't put it down in the bottom two i would put it right here i think it's decent it's a pretty good card and whatever so yeah right there she'll be fine next up we have liliana of the dread horde see this this is a great take this kind of brings it back to this one right here where she's kind of immolating herself while using her magic pushing the boundaries of a planeswalker and i really like it this of course depicts in the final scene of the climax of uh of the war of the spark arc she, her betraying Nicol Bolas and helping Gideon and coming back to the gate watch and subsequently the good side 
the good guys of Magic. Um, yeah, I really like it. I think this uh, 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 different highlights a different part of Lily's character, and I feel like it's an important piece of the story. So it's gonna go right next to the original one, and this. This is the alternate art of this one. Now I have a very strong feelings about this. Uh, first of all, this does not depict her doing the same thing. This is kind of her, I don't know, waving her hands with skulls around her. Also, this could have been Tamiyo if the hair was different. So I don't know if that's racist, but <laughs> you know, it's, it's kind of just a a lady with white hair. I don't know. I I feel like this is gonna go into garbage fire for me. Yeah, let's move on. Next up, we have another Planeswalker deck one. This one's a little better though, because at least it looks like Liliana. This one looks like Nissa with purple uh, with the purple dress on. So I think I'm gonna go for for a nice a nice not too bad not too good one for uh, Liliana Death Mage here. All right. Next up, we have M21. This is everyone. Everyone was shocked to see Liliana still, still alive, still grieving for her boyfriend Gideon, of course, who sacrificed his life for her. Rest in peace, Gideon. Um, or Kithian, I guess he is now. So, I, I guess this one's alright. She's, uh, she's, she's grieving. She's at the graveyard, touching presumably Gideon's grave or her family's grave or something. I, I don't know why she doesn't just revive Gideon and have some necrophilia or whatever, whatever. Uh, I think it's decent. I think if they seem uh, decent, it would, it would do. It would do. Like, look, wait, you came up with the idea right here in Macabre Waltz. She's dancing with a corpse. That's clearly fine. So why didn't she do that with Gideon? Uh, whatever. I digress. Moving on. All right, and finally, <laughs> and finally, the biggest shocker of them all. The world broke when this was spoiled. Professor Onyx. Professor Onyx. What do I even say? First of all, it's not even got Liliana in the name. It's got Liliana in the in the subtext, though. It's a subtype, the Planeswalker, so so that you know it is her. If you couldn't tell by the art already, honestly, I love this. This is so cool that this is how they brought her back. You know, they could have just say that, oh, she went to therapy and now she's back to 100%. But no, instead, she, she's trying to be a better person and she's teaching her magical arts in Strixhaven instead. And she had a pretty good story in that as well. So I like this. This is kind of her maturing. Although she did kind of mature already with this version, which is kind of weird, but you know, I, I digress. This is good. I like it. This is good. I think she actually kind of looks younger than Liliana of the Veil, but you know, different artists, different style. I'm fine with it. All right. And this is the tier list. Let me know what you think. Um, if you like it, press like. If you don't like it, comment about it all right don't dislike comment about it give me engagement that's smart isn't it and if you if you feel not so strongly about it then you should also subscribe with notifications on <laughs> all right thank you everyone for watching and again i know that this is different content from what i usually do but i made this channel to mostly just you know have fun and try to entertain people and share um, my hobbies and the things I like so if I'm not doing what I enjoy then why am I doing this you know? yeah so I'm just trying to make whatever content I want to make and that includes Minecraft as well so stay tuned Minecraft tomorrow see you tomorrow everyone